Hey everybody, welcome to the R&R series. This is the Raw and Rustic series where we talk about salami behind the scenes. And today we're gonna to talk about one of the most commonly asked questions that I get regarding salami storage. So the question generally goes something like this. What do we do with our salami when we're done eating it or how do we store all the salami that we've made? And that's a typical problem that most home producers of salami are gonna run into because you get very excited about making salami, you pack your chamber full of it, and the next thing you know, you've got more salami than you know what to do with. So today we're gonna to talk about how to store your salami, what's the absolute best way to keep it fresh, maintain that texture. But first, let's go check out the chamber and see if we have some salami ready. In the chamber, we've got a lot of crazy projects on the horizon, everything from the peppermint salami to prosciutto, and rabbit salami, goose, the whole thing. It's gonna be nuts, but it uh, feels like this one's ready. This one is sujuk, and if you're unfamiliar with sujuk, be sure to subscribe now. You're not gonna to wanna to miss this video. We're gonna be making sujuk four ways, and this is one of the ways. Okay, so let me show you how we store our salami, and this is roughly about a pound and a half of salami, so that's a lot of salami, and we're gonna be putting it in a vacuum seal bag. If you vacuum seal your salami, the first thing you have to do is remove the mold. So that doesn't necessarily mean you have to remove the casing, but the easiest way to remove the mold is remove the casing. And the reason we want to remove the mold is because mold is a fungus that requires oxygen to survive. The minute you put it in a vacuum seal bag, you're, oh man, this smells so good. I can't believe how good this smells. If you've never had sujuk, this is a great salami, great sausage. Anyway, I digress. <laughs> I lost my train of thought. Okay, um, as I was saying, the minute you put this into a vacuum seal bag, and you remove the oxygen from it, that mold is gonna die. That fungus is gonna turn slimy as it starts to decay. And what you'll end up having is this slimy, gooey, stinky sort of mass that's just sitting on top of your salami. And you definitely don't want that because that'll ruin the flavor and it'll just be nasty. So we gotta remove the mold. And if you're a fan of back slopping, you can save that casing and use it to inoculate your salami later, but we'll save that for a different video. So here's our salami. And at this point, I've only removed the casing and I'm cutting it in half. You don't have to cut it in half. If you have a vacuum seal bag that's large enough, you could leave it whole. And as I'm inspecting the salami, it looks like most of the mold came off with the casing, but every salami is different. So if your salami still has a lot of mold on it, you might want to get a hard bristle brush or a toothbrush that's dedicated for this job. And during this next step, you'll just want to brush your salami down. But since most of my mold is already gone, I'm just going to rub my salami down with some red wine vinegar. Now you could use any vinegar. You can actually use alcohol like wine or some sort of a hard alcohol which might be interesting as far as flavor is concerned, but this is gonna clean up and disinfect the surface of our salami, getting rid of any mold or bacteria. And in order to do that, you gotta let it sit for at least 30 minutes. So let your salami sit with the vinegar solution on it for at least 30 minutes. And then after 30 minutes, we're just gonna blot our salami dry with a clean paper towel. Now I do wanna mention that there are a lot of different ways to store your salami and some work better than others, but I've found that this particular method I'm showing you here produces the most favorable results for long-term storage. So if you have a unique way of storing your salami, you know, maybe butcher's paper or parchment paper or something like that, I'd love to hear about it in the comment section below. Our salami is now ready. It's dry to the touch and it's now time to vacuum seal it. So here's where you have a couple different options. This first option is what I like to use for long-term storage. So we're gonna be using a vacuum sealer from the sausage maker. And this is a great vacuum sealer. I actually prefer it over my chamber vac because depending on what I'm sealing, this particular vacuum sealer allows me to customize the type of seal that I get. You know, wet food, dry food, if I want a tight seal, a loose seal. And in a later video, we'll talk more about it. So as far as the bag is concerned, if you don't want to cut your salami, you want to keep them whole and you have a bunch to do, you can obviously customize the size of your bag. Or you could use pre-cut bags like this one, which in this case, the width is perfect for my salami. So we're just gonna go ahead and slide our salami into that bag. And this particular bag can easily do three, four pounds of already made salami. You know, we could have added a couple more sticks in there, but because that's all we're doing, we're gonna trim a little of that excess bag off using the machine itself. And then we're gonna vacuum seal it. And you wanna make sure that you create the tightest vacuum possible when you vacuum seal it. And 
there you have it, our salami is vacuum sealed. It's now ready for long-term storage. We're gonna place that into our refrigerator and in the fridge, it'll be good for a year, even longer. So let me show you what I use for short-term storage. And what I mean by that is salami that I wanna have vacuum sealed, but I also wanna access it pretty frequently. I'm gonna use a handheld vacuum sealer with a special bag that works in conjunction with this little sealer. And this is a great option. It's not only incredibly economical, but it's also very convenient. These bags are heavy duty, they're reusable, and they keep a great seal. So we don't have to do anything special uh, with these particular bags in this pump. All we gotta do is place our salami inside the bag or whatever you plan on vacuum sealing and then close it off at the top. This little pump can work on four AA batteries, so it can be cordless if you want, you know, you can take it with you, or you can plug it in like I'm doing right here, and all you gotta do is align the pump with the bag and press the green button. And now that our bag is sealed, you don't have to worry about that salami drying out. So you just place it in the refrigerator until the day you get hungry for some delicious salami. At which point you're just gonna open the bag, slice off whatever you're gonna eat, and then you're gonna put your salami back in the bag and close it off and then use the pump to reseal it. All right, and that's a couple different ways that we store our salami. The first being long-term storage, and long-term storage for us is two months, six months, even up to a year. This is salami that I'm not gonna mess with too much, whether I'm equalizing it or aging it, or I just made way too much and it's gonna sit in my fridge until a later date. You do wanna make sure that you get a nice tight seal, so having a good vacuum sealer is important. So if you're looking for a vac sealer and you want an economical one, Check the description box below. I've got a link. You can get some more information on that. The other way that we store is short-term storage. And for us, short-term storage is anything less than two months. And it's going to be salami that I'm going to be digging into. You know, maybe every few days, every weekend, we're going to take some slices off and I want to reseal it. But I don't want to use up a bunch of vacuum seal bags. Using a handheld vac sealer is the absolute coolest, most economical way to do that. This is also from the sausage maker. So if you want some information, there's going to be a link in the description box below. But these bags are great. They're heavy duty. They're reusable. Just to give you an idea, this particular bag has been in the fridge for about six weeks and it still has a great seal. But if I wanted to cut some slices off, I'll just open it up pop it back in and then use the handheld pump to, to reseal it and I'm not wasting a bunch of bags. So notice we didn't talk about pre-slicing your salami for storage and you can totally pre-slice your salami if you wanna store it. But here's the problems that I've encountered. When you pre-slice your salami, you could be introducing unwanted contaminants and bacteria. And that's not a good thing, especially if you're gonna be doing uh, long-term storage. The other thing is that as soon as you pre-slice, you open up the surface area for oxidation and you can affect the color and the flavor of your salami when it starts to oxidize. So I typically keep my salami in short pieces, pieces that are big enough to fit inside the vacuum seal bags, and then I'll vacuum seal them and pop them in the refrigerator. Last but not least, one question we do get a lot is can you freeze your salami? for storage? And the answer is yes, but there's really no need. If you have a good vacuum sealer with a nice tight seal, you could pop it in your fridge. And like I said, you can keep it in there for up to a year at least. If you freeze your salami, which you totally can, what's going to happen is the water that's remaining is going to freeze. As soon as you thaw your salami, those crystals are going to break apart, causing you to lose a little bit of extra moisture, which is going to change the texture of your salami. And some people find that displeasing. So if you want the absolute best way to store it without any texture or quality loss, vacuum seal it, pop it in the fridge, and just get to it when you're ready. And that's how we store our salami. If you have any questions about what we talked about today, leave them in the comment section below. And if you liked this video or you found it helpful in any way, a thumbs up would be nice. If this is the first video that you've seen from our channel, we'd like to say welcome. We invite you to subscribe and click that notification bell so you don't miss a single upload. We post new videos each week. We'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.